All right, so Dolly 3, OpenAI's new AI image model, is live inside of ChatGPT. Well, for most of us. All right, I'm going to go ahead and explain. But before I do, let's talk a little bit about what this is. My name is Jordan Wilson, and I am the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping everyday people like me and you learn and leverage AI. So let's try and learn and leverage some AI here. All right, so here is the news. Well, not everyone's going to have it, unfortunately. So uh, ChatGPT has started to slowly roll out Dolly 3 access uh, to ChatGPT Plus users. So again, you have to have ChatGPT Plus for this, and they are rolling it out in phases. So not everyone has it, but a lot of people do. So one thing to keep in mind, and let's talk about how you use this. It's a mode inside of ChatGPT. That's in, that's very important to understand. Uh, so you can't just you know go to an old chat and start using Dolly. Um, also, if you use Dolly, you can't use plugins or advanced data analysis or browse with Bing on the same chat. It is its own mode. Okay, so now that we know that, let's go ahead um, and just see how it works. And I want to show a couple of things. Um, I didn't even think of anything. So I'm going to say uh, acute uh, Labrador puppy. There we go. Because I want to show a couple of things how this works. All right. So the first thing that you'll see is Dolly automatically extends your prompts. Okay. Uh, which I think is actually really nice. So, you know, one thing that I get all the time, because, you know, we use mid journey and people always want to help extending their prompts. Um, so Dolly by default, if you have a very short prompt, um, it's going to make four different images. And also in making those images, it's going to give you a much more detailed prompt for each one. Okay. Um, right now. Okay. It's actually not a uh, super, uh, super slow. So you'll see it gives you four different options, uh, all different uh, varieties here. So uh, nothing is uh, terribly photorealistic, but I didn't ask for that in the prompt either. Okay, so uh, it gives you four different options and you can click on each one and get the actual prompt that it used for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this prompt and we're gonna run it again so you can see the difference, but I'm gonna change it. I like yellow labs. And then I'm also gonna add I'm going to say a photo of this, and then I'm going to say, I'm going to add photo realistic. So just something very uh, easy. I'm also going to say stock image. So sometimes, you know, using terms like photo realistic or stock image is going to give you a more real looking photo. All right. So now this time I had a much more specific uh, prompt and you'll see uh, it's it's actually it's actually interesting. So, um, in some regards, having Dolly add to your prop prompt is nice. Um, in other regards, guards maybe not so much, um, because in this one, it did even also change the order, right? So I didn't even get one photo with my uh, prompt exactly how I had it. Uh, so that's also important to keep in mind. A uh, little, again, sometimes frustrating, uh, sometimes good. It just depends on, on your use case and your skill level uh, inside um, ChatGPT and with MidJourney. So uh, unfortunately, you'll see here, we didn't get anything that looked very photorealistic, right? Everything here looks very uh, cartoony. Don't get me wrong, very cute. Uh, but we did get very, uh, you know, cartoon-esque uh, type photos here. But let's say if you want to save it. So uh, what you're going to do is click on it. And then you get this screen. So from here, you can toggle uh, through the different photos. And when you toggle, you also see the prompt on here on the right side. So I actually like this UI UX, which I think um, traditionally, uh, ChatGPT has been pretty bad with its UI UX, if I'm being honest. Uh, from here, you can also click, uh, click that to toggle the um, caption on and off or the uh, prompt on and off. You can copy and then you can download. All right. So let's just do one more thing very quickly let's do a comparison hey since we're on dogs so this is a mid journey image uh, that we had used previously so again even in this one you saw i said you know stock image so let's just go ahead uh, we're going to copy this and then we're going to compare the output 
in Dolly 3 inside of ChatGPT. All right. So let's jump back in. We just put our prompt in right here. So stock image showing vet caring for a friendly dog, inspecting teeth, photorealistic Unsplash. So Unsplash is a stock service. And at least in MidJourney, when you use terminology like that, you generally get uh, more realistic photos. So, I mean, what you'll already see from our results here, if if you're good at MidJourney, if you're used to it, you know, I'd, I'd say, you, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good at MidJourney. I'm used to it, been using it for quite a few months, generated thousands of images. Um, it's not, you know, it doesn't play by the same rules and that's okay. So, you know, there's there's definitely going to be a learning curve uh, within Dolly, um, Dolly 3 to kind of get the images that most people want. And I think most people, um, you know, really use AI image generators to get realistic photos. Um, and it, it looks at least like our first attempt um, at getting realistic photos did not work, although so cute, right? So cute. Okay. So here we go. All right. So pretty, pretty decent, uh, pretty decent photos here. Pretty accurate as well. Um, so let's just go ahead, open these. So not, not bad. So, but again, these photos do have a very um, cartoon kind of HDR almost uh, effect for the person here, but I'm, I'm looking at other details and you, you know, if you, if you've used AI image generators a lot, I'm looking at things that I'm at least uh, happy about, right? So again, first attempt at a person, not that good. I'm sure, uh, you know, with some refinement, we could get this to look less cartoon, uh, less kind of uh, CGI and more realistic. But hey, one good thing is I'm counting one, two, three, four, five fingers that look like actual fingers, which is great. Because we know in the early days, you know, Dolly 2, which is the old model that's been out for, you know, nearly two years. Um, you know, early models of mid journey, you know, any AI image generator always struggled with fingers and hands. So, um, I actually liked the fingers here and the hand looked pretty good inside Dolly, which is encouraging. You know, you even have, uh, the vet, uh, here with the gloves and you can kind of see the knuckles through there. So, uh, some encouraging things, uh, inside chat GPT. Let's just do, Hey, since we're here, let's do one more. Let's get something a little more, uh, a little more wild, a little longer. So we use we use uh, Mid Journey a lot to uh, kind of illustrate what's going on um, in the AI news, and then we put these in our, um, you know, we essentially create a little carousel every week that helps people keep up. So I want to get kind of a, a cool generation uh, that I like that we've ran here recently that is a little longer. Okay, let's do this. So uh, let's go ahead and pull this. I'm very curious, very curious how Dolly is going to handle this. Let's go ahead, put it in, see what we get. So this says a visual representation of Elon Musk's X is charting a new course for AI, planning to use public information as training data. While it promises more comprehensive AI models, concerns about privacy and data misuse are on the rise. So this is actually something that People, you know, uh, with MidJourney's latest, I think 5.1 and 5.2 updates, you could put in more just like descriptive paragraphs like this and, and not, you know, all of these uh, prompting terms in MidJourney has really grown in this. You know, if, if I use this in MidJourney when it was, you know, a year ago, I, I wouldn't have got, you know, a usable output uh, like like this one right here. Um, so let's let's go ahead and see how, how Dolly handled this. So uh, again, not not well. So this one, a visual representation of Elon Musk's X is charting a new course for AI. Uh, so you'll see nothing, nothing here uh, resembles what we actually wanted. But I'm not too concerned about it because again, um, the same types of prompts aren't going to work the same in different models. And over time, we're gonna learn. Uh, we're gonna learn how Dolly three prefers. Uh, its prompts, how you should structure them, and how to get the best imp uh, how to get the best output based on how your input is structured. All right, I hope that was helpful. Uh, please, if it was, go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter, and I hope to see you back for another AI in five. Thanks, y'all.